Gary G6 Turner here. I am a consumer engagement assistant in the marketing department at Universal Nutrition. I'm in my fifth year at Universal Nutrition. Started back in uh, 2013. Everyone always says, how do, how do you get a job at Universal Nutrition? How do I, how do I, where do I apply? Where, how, how'd you hear about it? And uh, truth be told, I was working at a local hardcore gym in Edison, New Jersey, where I'm from. You know, this is New Brunswick, New Jersey, which is a few towns over. It's about a 20 minute drive. Eric Schwartz, also known as Natural Guy, uh, came into the gym and he threw the offer out to the gym owner. The gym owner referred me uh, to, to Eric. I, I knew Eric through the, through the ranks. I was always trying to get sponsored by him. I uh, always thought that he carried around contracts in his gym bag whenever he came to the gym, which is not true. Uh, things don't work that way where you just hand out contracts on a whim like that. Um, but Eric told me to send over my resume to uh, one of the uh, hiring managers, the customer service manager at the time, at which I did. Came in for a few interviews and uh, the rest is history. Uh, working here has been a, gr a great experience, um, not only professionally, uh, being that it's, uh, you know, it's an industry that I'm passionate about. I always say that whatever we do here, it doesn't feel like work because everything that we do here is something that I am interested in outside of a career type standpoint. I like supplements, I take supplements. Um, you know, I like the bodybuilding industry, obviously. Um, so I always say this is different than working at, say, like a Microsoft or Apple or something like that, where it's not something I'm passionate about. But when, when, you, when you come into work, it, you know, although it feels like, you know, you're coming to work, uh, you know, to get stuff done, you still, it's something that I would be interested in if I was getting paid or not. A lot of the writing that you see, uh, you know, is, is, is my own words. The creativity that the company allows me to put forth into my writing uh, is is great, and it also lines up to how I am as a person, as how I am as an athlete. That what you're seeing and what you're reading isn't much different uh, than who I am as a person. It's great to work here as a bodybuilder uh, because everybody here understands that what it's like that we're getting ready for a show. We have many athletes. Uh, that also are employees, both powerlifters and bodybuilders. So they understand the days that you're fatigued, um, you know, when you're two weeks out from a show or something like that. They understand that you're gonna need some days off here and there, days to travel and stuff like that. Um, so you, you get that luxury here that you wouldn't get from another company that has nothing to do with this industry or the bodybuilding industry, uh, where they wouldn't care, understand, or anything like, you know, in between. So it, it really is conducive to bringing my best to the stage, you know, and, and the support that you get here uh, for, you know, putting forth the effort on a bodybuilding stage is, is second to none. Well, all said and done uh, with the competition, Competition was October 23rd, 2017. It was the East Coast Championships in uh, Wayne, New Jersey. It's a national qualifier, and I, uh, you know, I chose to stay in New Jersey for this season. I, you know, I had a lot of family and I wanted to come see it. Uh, wasn't qualified for. Actually, I was qualified for national level, but wanted to, you know, test my hand at this at this show. Um, you know, prep was how it always is, rigorous. Um, you know, crazy cardio, you know, we drop pretty low in, in, the, in carbs, fats are always low. Uh, by the end, it got kind of, it was a little rough towards the end.
this for the Behind the Brand series. Hello everybody. This is the G6. This is the glorious side of bodybuilding. Which is basically sitting backstage, waiting for hours until we can get on stage and do what we love for about three minutes if we're lucky. It's a lot of rice cakes. It's a lot of thinking about what you're gonna do. And like I said, it's a lot of waiting. This is not the, uh, the glamorous side. And this is actually most people, uh, including mine, least favorite part. I, I don't dislike it as much as like, you know, my buddy Nick Laporte hates this, you know, stage and stuff like that. He likes training and it's the whole process. But, you know, I like the whole thing. I just, I'm an impatient guy, so I'm ready to go. I've been ready to go for about a week now. You know, so I'm glad I'm here, but I don't like to relax. I feel like my body's in prime, prime peak right now. Place first in the uh, in the heavyweight uh, category. Um, after pre-judging, once we exited, you know, after speaking to everybody and uh, coming from backstage, we said, you know, you won that class uh, pretty convincingly, um, which was exciting. You know, it was a relief that, uh, you know, anytime you can move to the middle of the lineup, you know that you're probably going to win. You know, that's a pretty great feeling. You know, everything that you've done is all for a good reason, and you know, you're going to be. Uh, coming out with some, you know, some hardware and some trophies and everything like that. Um, you know, it wasn't over till the, at that point. Uh, you know, if you win, you go to the overall pose down. That's going to be against the other class winners. Um, did not win the overall. Ran into a uh, very good gentleman that flew in from Japan. He was a light heavyweight. Uh, great muscle structure. Slightly less conditioned than me, but good enough to to uh, edge me out and get the win. Uh, I tip my hat to that gentleman from, uh, from the light heavyweight category. It was, a, it was a fun overall pose down. It was close. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get a nod, but you know what, listen. Monday's another day to get back to work, and then once we get back to work, then we make the, uh, the adjustments and the, uh, the progress into the next show. So that's how, how that goes. That's how a, a true champion would handle it.